Howdy, howdy, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Taurus, for the end of March 2023, going into April, darling. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, be sure to check out your sun, moon, and your rising, darling. All right, Taurus, because that is how you make these general uh, tarot readings on YouTube to make the uh, most resonance, to have the most resonance for you in your life, rather, because you got to cater your tarot readings with your astrological chart. So that's what I suggest to you uh, here at Taurus. So I have your Celtic cross already laid out here, Taurus. We're going to get into some overall energy for you as well as your numerology. But before we get into this card here, I just want to tell you first impressions of what I'm seeing so you know if this is your story or not. I see someone right now, Taurus, that is that has outgrown somebody. I see someone that has uh, outgrown somebody or something. You know, I don't want to just assume it's just like a person. I feel like it could be 50-50, Taurus. But it's something that you, you have outgrown something and because of you, finally maybe uh being honest with yourself about a situation that you have outgrown or just are choosing to move on from i feel like that is opening up a lot of doors in your life towards because it's the sense of where by you choosing to move on from a situation and finally accepting that you have finished that lesson and accepting that something that is just no longer going to be part of your life anymore it was just a chapter uh you're things are opening up for you internally. I feel like it's like you made space for new thoughts, for a different way of seeing life, a different way of approaching of how to continue living life. All right. Some of you might be feeling like you've outgrown the office life. Some of you might have feel felt as if you've outgrown like a friend group or, you know, whatever the case is, a town, you know, family, whatever it is, uh, Taurus, whatever, if that is your story here, let's get into this. So your overall energy in your oracle card for today, or one of them, is the heart home, all right? Number nine in numerology, which is the hermit card, which is what already popped up for you, all right? So if you do have Virgo in your chart, Taurus, or maybe you're dealing with the Virgo, check out my Virgo reading. But yeah, you have the heart home. And look up the number nine, see what that message is that has for you this week. So heart home again, darling. Take a shot every time I say that, <laughs> Taurus. So this is compassion here. And so... The thing about this is, Taurus, is that you know something sometimes i'm a little i'm a little bit self-conscious about my readings because i feel like i put too much of my own perspective on it and that doesn't make a good tarot reader what makes a good tarot reader is being able to really separate yourself and so i am not a major drama person right i don't really entertain people when i cut somebody off they're done i don't think about my exes i don't think about ex-friends or anything like that when i moved on i've accepted the situation for what it is and i move on right and so sometimes i feel like i project that into my readings here but for you to have this card here taurus this lets me know that you have a similar type of mindset to me darling uh taurus where you are really trying to have compassion for the situation that you are out growing. I feel like on some level, you just want to kind of like go inward. You, you've you become aware that you're right at a point in time in your journey where you kind of need to ride solo for a little bit or separate yourself from some type of comfort zone in your life. And I feel like it's been a little bit hard for you to do that, uh, especially if this is involving people. I feel like it's really hard for people to... Uh, just leave you alone <laughs> almost so let's get into your celtic cross reading now all right so you have an understanding of uh these cards i'm talking about in your current situation here virgo you have the eight of cups this is who you are currently you know if you look at the artwork so tab in uh into this video here taurus if you have me on a different screen you see this person here gar darling regardless of your gender i don't want to hear it in the comments be like oh well Volko, i'm a guy this is a woman in this girl please anyways this is who you are you're walking you're choosing to walk away from a situation that uh and not kind of coming back to it right you have like this oasis here and it has water but for you there's something internally telling for you where it's like there's something better out there and so this person chooses to take a risk going back out into the desert where there's no foreseeable water out there but at the same time you've accepted that the situation here while it's sustaining for some people it's no longer sustaining for you right and then from that journey you know it's quite literally the same person if you look at the well actually no it's not one's a white person one's a black person Never mind on that. Regardless, <laughs> regardless, Taurus, the message is still relevant here, right? Because this is in your challenged position, this hermit card, which is what I was saying, you know, with that number nine, right? Take note. Right there, darling, right? And so you're in this hermiting phase where you 
are trying really hard to separate yourself from a life that just no longer is serving you anymore, uh, Taurus, but it's just been really hard for you to be able to fully disconnect from there, I feel, all right? For, for some reason, it's like maybe you have to tie up loose ends there or what have you, but it's, yeah, you're really trying hard to go into a new chapter of your life where you're really leaving everything in the past there. In your focus position, Taurus, you have the Ace of Swords, all right? So this is where the really important message for this tarot reading comes in here, Taurus, is because at this current point in time, as you continue detaching yourself from a situation that just is not serving you anymore, it just is what's done, what's done, is done, right? Um, you are in this place of really going to be getting a lot of inspiration internally about where you should be going next, where you should be putting your energy, so on and so forth. All right. And it's really important for you to acknowledge this right now, uh, Taurus, because this is going to feel foreign to you for a little bit, because I feel like on some hand in your environment or just whatever it is that you had to walk away from, certain things were hard for you to conceptualize beforehand. So for example, Taurus, it was hard for you to conceptualize a life of where you are a business owner or where you have your own place in a state or a city that you live in um, because your current and en the environment that you're walking away from is an environment of people who uh, always chose to settle, who didn't really go after their goals, or maybe they they talked it down to you even and made you feel shy about what it is that you, like you ultimately just wanting more. Uh, I also get like this message here where it's like, you are a lot more of a creative person uh taurus it's uh, it's like you're either a lot more i'm being shown something just like with like your mind so it's like either like your intelligence creative ability maybe your just sense of awareness of like just the world around you just is not of the same level as the people that you are around anymore i feel like on some level you have just kind of elevated yourself you've outgrown them right i'm trying really hard not to just word this in a condescending manner of where we're looking down on this old situation here but I mean, it is what it is, darling. If someone wants to get offended by it, then, you know, let them, right? <laughs> In your past position here, Taurus, you have the two of cups, right? And so this is the prior commitment, right? The prior commitment towards this person or persons, prior commitment to a job or a situation. There's something that you are connected to that you will, you know, that I've been saying this entire reading here that you're trying to have compassion towards and just be like, you know what? Peace. I got to just do my own thing, right? So that's why I've been really trying to affirm the sense of what I've been saying this entire time, uh, Taurus, of like leaving something that you're priorly uh, committed to. In possibilities, you have the Six of Wands. All right, Taurus. And so, uh, again, as you continue releasing uh, and moving, like making space in your life for new energy here, these two cards go so beautifully together, uh, Taurus. And it's really like the impact that you can have with this type of energy around you Taurus, you really could change your life you could really uh transform your life in a way of where you are feeling very much so inspired i really do get like this consistent message of like being able to chase after and create a life that you prior couldn't really conceptualize before it, it feels as if like the ceiling for where you could hit for your life for accomplishments and all that has been raised drastically as you uh disconnect from that old situation there because the six of wands is a card of fame recognition success you know through hard work that's why the six of wands usually has the illustrations of like the olympics and stuff like that taurus and so really with that type of combination it's, the, it's through the inspirations that you have at this time, Ace of Swords, that's going to be able to facilitate that Six of Wands successful energy where people are noticing you, your creative ability is greatly rewarded, that Wands fiery, passionate energy there. Like it's just really beautiful. And this can be in the shape of like a career or just making the choice and living in a new environment. And this would be the type of dynamic where the new place that you choose to live, you'll be noticed by a lot of people that you could connect to and bond with on an Ace of Swords mind, uh, mindset belief level, right? And so overall, uh, your cars are really blessing uh, the action of going into new uh, thoughts uh, that come forward to you after disconnecting, all right? In your near future here, uh, Taurus, you have the strength card, all right? 
So overall in your energy, I'll just tell you right now the zodiac signs that I'm seeing here. I see the I see strong Libra, strong Virgo, obviously. There's some Leo, strong Leo in here as well. Those are the, uh, the signs that I see here currently, but for those that it's relevant towards. But anyways, with the strength card, <laughs> back to the original subject. It ha if you if I could describe a more ADHD moment, that was probably it. <laughs> Taurus. Um, with this strength card coming in here in your near future, this is, you know, your work is about to be cut out for you here. You know, you're you're going to be having uh, you're, you're going to be having some trials and tribulations to be overcoming. But I feel like this is kind of the thing that you've been asking for. It's like you, you, you don't go into this new journey detaching yourself from what no longer is meant for you and leaving your comfort zone without a little bit of, you know, you know, a little bit of sweat, you know, a little, you know, putting some elbow grease into your life here, Taurus. But I feel like while right to now, while you're consuming this tarot reading, you might be in this place, Taurus, where you're just like, Velka, I'm way too tired. I don't, you know, you, you know, you want things to just be easy for a little bit here. The thing about it is, is that when you're in a new environment and in 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 doing things that you personally feel inspired by, while you might be tired, it's at least like a good tired compared to like working like a nine to five office job coming home and you're just feeling drained, tired, like a part of your soul just isn't with you type of thing. And that's the type of energy that I feel for you, uh, Taurus, where it's like you're extremely busy, but it's like an inspired busy. All right. Now, in your power position here, uh, Taurus, you have the King of Wands. Now, this is something I was getting a strong sensation of beforehand, Taurus, but whatever the situation, you'll notice, like, whatever the situation was in your past that you're walking away from, there's still, like, this consistent theme of, like, people keeping watch of you, all right? People observing you at this time, right? You're, you, you, there's a lot of attention that you garner through your future actions here, Taurus, all right? And so what I can be telling you based off of these messages here, um, I feel like it's going to be really hard for you to ignore those voices in the back because it can seem very, I mean, it's very pronounced. It's like a lion in the back there. You know, it's kind of hard to ignore. But the better relationship that you have with yourself as that king of wands, you, can, you know, the king of wands, Taurus, is someone that has extreme confidence in what it is that they're doing. They acknowledge that they, their actions inspire people and they become a trailblazer, doing things that other people never considered. And so that's the type of energy that I get here where it's like what it is that you're detaching yourself from, uh, Taurus. It's very unknown to the people around you, and that's why you know you've outgrown them. And so because it's hard for them to conceptualize this uh, this new journey for you, I feel like there's this effort of not quite wanting to fully let go and let you be in your hermit state. And so, you know, really be good about your boundaries this week here, uh, Taurus. Now in your environment right now is the empress card and so whether people want to admit it or not you know i feel like you and people that dislike you it's like they can't they can dislike you but they have to be honest about like who you are right so the empress is someone that has a lot of respect uh very beautiful very talented just someone that just everyone can't help but acknowledge like the empress type of thing here and so I feel for you, that's part of like where your compassion comes in at Taurus is the sense of where you're able to see that people are reacting maybe in ways that you don't necessarily agree with, but you understand on some level where it's like it's coming from a place of uh, love or value. So it's like I feel like it's going to be really hard for people to uh, be willing to let you go. But again, the Empress is someone that is very uh, good with listening to their intuition they're very connected to the world around them and feeling very guided and so yeah i really do feel like it's just going to be a little bit hard for people that see you as the empress to fully let you go and so you're just trying not to hold it against them for whatever they do or don't do or say or don't say while you're trying to just detach in your hopes and fears, you have the justice card coming in here. You know, you're just overall hoping for balance. You're o you're overall hoping for things kind of just to work out, right? I don't, you know, the, none of these cards here are talking about like vengeance. Like, I don't feel like you're wanting vengeance or even karma um, on people, uh, Taurus, because I feel like you just want your life to balance out. You want your life to just 
be a, uh, be in a place where you're happy with where you're at and same with the other side type of thing here. This is really like inspiring energy and many people could take note from you, Taurus, here with this type of mindset. All right. And then in your outcome position, you have the hanged man, which is a beautiful card to be having in your outcome because this is transformation. Right. You take a note here, uh, Taurus, and this is for some of you guys might need to watch this video back a couple of times. But um, there's the symbology of the sun in your entire reading here right? The eight of cups, which is what you start out as, you're chasing after that sun in the far distance, right? The hermit card that was in your challenged position, the sun uh, is inside of you. So it's like internally, you like your intuition is feeling guided towards like uh, a specific thing. You may not be able to showcase it or anything, but it's like, it's in your heart of hearts that you know, like what it is that you're meant for. And then the hanged man, by committing to the action, you have the sun right to there, all right? And so by you taking a risk, uh, Taurus, by you choosing to commit towards the unknown, getting out of your comfort zone and choosing to move on into a new... Um, into new relationships, new jobs, what have you, that's where it works out for you, uh, Taurus. Like, really, really positive tarot reading here. Like, again, like, I really you know, respect your uh, point of view on things right now. Like you feel, you seem very in tune with everything, very mature. So let's get into your Oracle reading today, uh, Taurus, before I let you go and have you enjoy the rest of your uh, Wednesday. You have the shark card, trusting your instincts to discern the truth of the situation, right? Trusting your intuition, you know, what, what is the phrase of sharks in the water, right? When it comes to your environment. And so it's like being very aware about uh, people's true motives are. I feel like you are really going to be shown people's true motives. Like the sharks are really going to be coming out as you continue progressing in this journey, doing your own thing. I feel like the sharks will reveal themselves to you, you know, but it's overall that same message of really, uh, trusting your gut instinct on what is truth and like, you know, what is someone else's dreams. And this is your full moon Taurus. Hello for your moon Oracle card full moon in Taurus detoxifying. That's exactly what you're doing, darling. You're detoxing yourself. You're moving on from people that just are not good for you, right? How many more times do we need to say it? I love it with my Oracle cards. Uh, <laughs> let me know that I'm on the right track here. So that's the tarot reading that I have for you this week here, Taurus. Hopefully something in here resonated. Remember the zodiac signs that I mentioned. If those are in your top three, check those out, darling. And as well, I'll leave a link to my good friend Minopond Tarot's new website. He has a newsletter that he came out with it's free i'm sure you've seen his videos before uh but he's providing beautiful spiritual content if you're really trying to transform your life so check it out if you'd like and i'll connect to you sometime in the near future taurus bye darling